Am I the asshole for refusing to babysit my brother's kids? My brother and his wife have two toddlers aged three and two. Due to recent divorce and financial difficulties, I've been living with my brother and his wife for the past couple of months. His wife is not a fan of me staying with them, but she tolerates my presence for the sake of my brother, as I can tell. That doesn't stop her from ordering me around the house and assigning me to do things as if I'm her personal servant. My brother defends her treating me like that and claims I should do my part too. I already do, but he claims that I don't do enough as a person who lives there too. To the point. My brother's wife had terrible stomach ache the other day and my brother wanted to take her to the doctor. They asked me to watch the kids for a couple of hours until they came back and I refused. I said I don't want to have this responsibility and that they should either take the kids with them, call an ambulance so his wife can go to the hospital and he can stay with the kids or call her parents or her parents to help. My brother said, but you're right here and we are in urgent need. Please. I refused again. I said, not my kids, not my problem. They ended up taking the kids and driving them to my parents' house until they came back. My parents called me and said I was being ridiculous for refusing to help. I reminded them how I'm not responsible for these kids and I don't have to be. We had an, ar we had an argument about it and they said that my brother is very pissed and I should be on my knees apologizing to him and his wife when they return. They came home and my brother told me I have two days to pack my stuff and find somewhere else to live because he's done with me being a parasite in his own house and villainizing him or his wife for expecting the slightest help and contribution around the house and that I crossed the line when in the time of an emergency, I put my ego above their need for help. I defended myself and I honestly don't believe I did something wrong. I said they have the right to disagree, but they have to respect my thoughts and feelings on this as well. He insisted I have two days to either get my shit together or leave. I called my parents crying about that, what my brother and his wife were doing and they sided with them and said I had it coming. Was I really the asshole? Am I the asshole for not going to my niece's birthday because my sister wouldn't let me bring my own food? I don't know if ages really matter, but I, F21, was recently invited to a birthday party for my niece, F11. She's the daughter of my sister, Ellie, F30. Ellie's always been your health nut type of person, and for the last few months, she's been sticking to an all-natural carnivore diet. She only eats unseasoned meat, eggs, or butter, and anything else is unacceptable. More power to her, because honestly, I could never do something like that. For my niece's birthday party, Ellie did a barbecue in their backyard. She made it very clear on the invites that all the food would be meat-based and even seemed to brag about it. I've been a vegetarian since I was 12, and I've been vegan for two years. I'm also kind of picky eater, which I know can be annoying. It's why I never eat out. I messaged Ellie and I told her I'll bring my own food to the party. Ellie got super offended and said that bringing your own food to the party is rude and told me I can go without food for a few hours. At this point, I'm pretty sure Ellie is just trying to be annoying because she knows I'm vegan. I told her if she's so dead set on me not bringing my own food to eat, then I just won't go. Ellie told me I'm being petty and to just suck it up, and that it's my niece's party and she doesn't need me pushing my agenda. I called her ridiculous and told her if me eating my own food at a party upsets her so much, she needs to evaluate her priorities. Ellie told me to go fuck myself and said I'm just being sensitive. I was so mad and ended up not going to my niece's birthday party because it was clear that Ellie didn't want me there and I didn't want to cause drama in front of the kids. Ellie is now pissed at me for not going and said that I really upset my niece and that I'm a terrible aunt. I feel like I can't win in this situation, but I'm wondering if I was being an asshole and I just can't see it. Am I the asshole for locking my bedroom door so my mom's best friend's daughter can't come in? My 15F mother, 39F, was born in Honduras and came to the United States when she was 18 to go to college and then to law school. She met my father, 46M, and they were both working at my grandfather's law firm. My mom was just a young intern and my dad was very important there, being the boss's son. She also met Jenny, who was a secretary working at the firm, but she had no interest in law and wanted to be an actress. When my mother got pregnant with me, Jenny also got pregnant with an older rich man that she was seeing at the time. The issue is that the man didn't want anything to do with the baby and would have preferred her to have an abortion. 
She decided to keep it, and my mother became even more close with her, being pregnant at the same time. At that point, my grandfather died, and my dad inherited a lot of money. Jenny became very sad after her baby, Stacy, was born and wasn't up to fully acting as my mother, so she moved in with my parents and my mom was the only, and my mom was the one that took care of both me and, the ba and her baby. My dad also helped a lot, all that he could, by the way, but he was busy working all the time. My mom finished school, she passed her bar exam about eight months pregnant, but never ended up working as a lawyer after that. Jenny got better with her mental health and kept trying to get work as an actress without much success. When I was seven, she moved out from, my, from our house with her daughter because she found a role in an off-off-Broadway production. Stacy and I have been raised as basically sisters and we're best friends, but we were also little girls so it wasn't something really deep, I think. My mom kept trying to have us be in contact with them and visit them at least once a year, but I mostly forgot about Stacy. I went with my mom to New York a few times to visit her, and we watched Jenny on her show when I was 13. It was terrible in my opinion. Earlier this year, a job opportunity came for Jenny about being in a television show in Romania, but she would have to be there for at least a year and couldn't bring Stacy. So my mom offered to let her stay with us. My mom was really happy about it, but I was mostly indifferent. She has been really intense since her arrival, wanting to reconnect like when we were kids. I don't want to be rude, but I'm really shy and calm while she is really loud. She is also in my room because she says she is too used to share a room with her with her mom and does not like being alone in her own big room um, in our house. Since last week, I started to lock my door so Stacy can't come in without me allowing it. I think it's fair because I deserve to have privacy, but my mom says I'm being mean to her. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for refusing to go to my mom's wedding as my wife is not invited? I love my mom. I wouldn't say we're close, but I do love her. She's never had the best relationship with my wife, though. Nothing awful, like you'd read on J-N-M-I-L. Just a bit tense and awkward around each other. Then my wife exposes my mom's relationship to the family before my mom was ready. My mom has told everyone how much she hated this man for years and gone on some public smear campaign. And I guess they weren't really officially dating at the time, and she didn't want anyone to know. Honestly, my wife was just gossiping, but I think my mom overreacted. She went on a nasty rant about my wife, and I cut her off for about six months. My mom has never really apologized and said we need to apologize to her. Now, two years later, she is marrying the guy. I did try to get her to reconcile with my wife, so they... So they visited one time, but that was a disaster. And my mom feels my wife was an awful host. Anyways, my mom called me and invited me to the wedding, but said my wife couldn't come. She says she doesn't care if it's bad etiquette. My wife has treated her badly and does not want to have to see her. I said I was sorry, but could not publicly disrespect my wife like that. My mom made me made a snarky comment about how she didn't res actually expect any better from me. So I hung up. Now the entire family is treating me like trash. They're saying I need to suck it up because weddings are special and just let her have what she wants on her one day and then work on boundaries. And I owe it to her. My brother sent me a nasty message about how my wife gossiped was a bad host and now how dare I expect my mom to follow etiquette when, I, when my wife can't. I feel really bad, but to be honest, I'm not sure how much she really, she really even cares. We aren't close. The people she is actually close to are going to be there, and I feel like I need to defend my wife. Am I the asshole?
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know, I know I did. I know this angle that I recorded at this time was weird, but I was trying something new and I don't hate it. Let me know if it's weird for you guys though. I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this look was a bit of a struggle for us. Uh, I know it usually is, but um, in the end, I, I came to like it. You know, it's a little weird but I was really trying to go for like a fire sort of thing and not really sure why. But yeah, I hope you guys really liked the video. I enjoyed making it. Please uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified of when I post. And I hope this um, makeup and this video inspired you to make beautiful art with your face. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.